planning to do my full garden. We build this fence right now. Some of them are just tied with zip ties and they are just holding it place for something that it's going to grab it here permanently. So if you see zip ties, they're not permanent. That's why we didn't bother cutting them or anything. It's just as a placeholder for what we need and we don't have. In here, I plan to do my full gardening and I plan to uh, raise the ducks. This is one of the beds that I'm gonna use. It's using the Hugo culture and the stand up and garden method. I'm gonna leave both of those um, books linked down below. And I'm also going to link a video where I show you how I build these beds. Here I'm gonna have to build uh, some kind of a fence with deer netting because I'm sure the ducks are going to enjoy eating all these plants and I don't want them to. In the floor, this was basically dry like that over there clay. I What I did in this area is I put cardboard, I don't know if you can see it right there. And then I brought mulch from the woods and that's basically what I did to create this. Now, it is not perfect, that's why I'm showing you. Because to be honest, once, I mean, if you don't have a level surface, the mulch is going to move. So that is not a perfect solution. But this is what it looks like right now. This was the bed where we're going to grow watermelon. They were eaten by the birds, but potatoes grew because we uh, buried compost that was uncomposted. So it had some uh, potato peels, as you can see, and that's what's growing. And they should be done by October, so we'll see how they do. They're just regular um, grocery store, and they're potato peels. They're not even potato seeds or potatoes. Here is where I had the pumpkin that I transplanted. I'm just gonna move these logs, kind of put them against the fence to make sure there's no holes. Here, well, before I move on to here, here this is a dog kennel that I'm using, not a kennel, but a dog pen that I'm using for composting. Yeah, I don't know what those things are doing there, green and blue, but that's what I'm using. And this is something that we built uh, with my kids. It is not perfect by any means, but we built it for our bunny. It's a bunny hutch. This is a great place because it, the woods are back there and it gets shady by two o'clock. So he gets a little bit of sun of the morning that is not really hot. He has that yellow thingy over there because he likes to go to the bathroom there. And to be honest, I messed up and I bought the quarter of an inch hardware cloth to put in the bottom. So I'm not sure it's going to go down. So I'm counting on him continuing to use this little plastic thing as his bathroom. Uh, he has his feeder there, his water bottle over there. And here we built this. That Again, it's not perfect. But um, he has this little thing there. Even though he's a boy, he doesn't need a nest. He was, he always had one since he's been with us. I bought it for him in case he was scared and wanted to kind of hide from our dogs when he had the other cage completely open. This is not put properly because it's it's not square or anything like that but he doesn't sleep out here he sleeps inside with us but i like him to be outside in the open he enjoys the nice breeze that he gets from the back from the creek the water the woods really he enjoys being here and i mean it is not perfect but it's a bunny hutch I built with my kids and I really can't believe it. I have no knowledge of carpentry or anything like that, so I'm excited. 
Now, right here, there's the other hotbed that I'm building. Today, I was charging it with compost in rabbit manure tea. I did a video and I share with you how I built this. So if you haven't watched it, I'll have a link on the top of the screen. And then right here, it's going to be the duck uh, house area. I'm not sure if I am going to level that part and put it there against that part of the fence or if I'm gonna put it right here that it's more level. But the idea is that they have this big area for a couple of duckies to roam, eat, and, you know, eat their weeds and bugs and everything. This is the Pacific Northwest, so it's going to be wet, it's going to be rainy. There's a bunch of slugs and there's a bunch of little things that they will really enjoy eating. So I'm excited for them to be here. Another idea I had is, since they're going to come with their own house, maybe I thought I'd remove that eventually. They're going to be uh, there until October, but maybe after October I can put there their house and remove those potatoes, harvest those potatoes and put their house over there. That is another idea. And they're going to stay in this area for about two weeks. Um, but until they get used to that this is home and this is where they should stay. Once they are used to their he being here, I am going to let them go to the back. Uh, where the sun is shining right there, there's a creek. So they will be able to go in the creek. As they are staying in here, I'm going to let them have a big bigger kitty pool here so they can get wet they can mate they can do their business uh, here so basically this is the area that we prepared for the ducks or with ducks in mind building those raised beds and this one was here but we're gonna have to take care of it before they arrive not perfect not the most amazing one but everything that we built here is with recycled materials the wood the hatch the beds um, I mean cardboard that we got for free um, the soil we brought from the back the, the depots are the only thing we bought and the um, chain link is it how fence? Um, the posts, the aluminum looking one posts are, we got them for free that we're gonna get rid of them. So honestly, to create this, it was more of a labor of love than an expense. It did take a lot of time to get to this point and it's not even 20% done. At least we have the fence, at least we have the area for the money, at least we built the hutch, and at least we're working towards the garden for the fall time. Mm -hmm. 